In this video, I'm going to touch on three key practical ways that you can develop your authentic voice. So the first key way to develop your authentic voice is to connect to your personal power. A very practical way to do this is to literally strengthen your core. And yes, I'm talking about core workouts. I'm talking about doing things that improve your balance and truly your core is your center. And when your center is strong, your personal power is strong. This is where your third chakra, your solar plexus, lives and resides and that is the seat of your personal power. Another way to do this is to dedicate time to your passions and to things that light you up and bring you joy. So creating time in your schedule, literally carving time out to do things that you love that may not even make you money, but they are things that you absolutely love and that make you feel alive. That is a really, really, really practical way and a fun way to tap into your personal power. So the next key way to develop your authentic voice is to listen to your heart. Now this might sound a little more woo woo, but it's actually not. Listening to your heart is very important because it really synchronizes your mind or your brain and your heart so you can have coherence there. A great way to practice this is to do non-traditional forms of meditation. I cannot tell you how many questions I get across all of my platforms and with my clients on how to properly meditate. There are tons of ways to meditate and they are not all sitting in lotus and with your eyes closed. You can meditate by walking, washing your dishes, taking a shower, going on a long drive, hiking. I mean, there are tons of ways in which you can get into a meditative state and they don't all involve sitting in lotus position. Comment below if you would like me to make a full video on non-traditional ways to meditate. Another way that you can start to learn to listen to your heart is to do heart opening movements and also just listening to music that is attuned to the heart. So heart opening movements really expand and open up your chest, which is of course where your heart is, and they help to expand you internally as well as externally. The third and final point that I wanna make about developing your authentic voice is learning to speak your truth. A practical way to do this is by vocal tuning or humming. So there are lots of practices and exercises that you can find for free on YouTube that you can start humming and doing vocal tuning and exercises to really warm up and open up your throat center. Our expression comes from this space, our throat chakra, the Vishuddha chakra, and that is what tends to be blocked when we're not speaking our truth. And of course, when you're developing your authentic voice, we're dealing with this area. One of my favorite ways to learn to speak your truth is understanding what's a hell no and heaven's yes for you. And this is also a very easy and practical way to start tuning into the energy of speaking your truth. If there is something that comes up where you need to make a decision, you can ask yourself, is this a hell no or a heaven's yes? That doesn't give any room for gray or lukewarm energy in between. So ask yourself, is this a heaven's yes or a hell no for me? And that'll help you to become more clear on your decision making and more clear when it comes to speaking your truth, if it's a yes or no. So like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I have a bonus for you. This fourth key element to discovering your authentic voice is mirror work. Mirror work is really great for developing confidence, which taps into that solar plexus and that throat, but it's really great for that. And mirror work can be done in a myriad of ways, but my favorite way to do it is to practice speaking loving affirmations to yourself, as well as practicing your heaven's yes or hell no in the mirror. It can be really powerful to say in the mirror to yourself, that's not okay with me. I don't really want to do that, no. Yes, whatever it is, but saying it in the mirror to yourself, looking yourself in your eyes will build more confidence for you when you do it with someone else. This is what Joe Dispenza calls mental rehearsing. And it's very important to do because it lets your mind, your brain know that, hey, this thing is about to happen. So if you're ready for a really big conversation or you're getting ready for a big conversation, you can practice it in the mirror. And that way when it comes, your mind, your brain, your body will already be used to the feeling and it'll become a little bit easier for you to do. If you're enjoying this video, comment below on something that you learned or that was surprising to you.